12 this morning, cleanup is underway in Hamtramck. That's where a high speed car chase ended with that car crashing into two homes. This happened on Norwalk Street near Conan, and it was all caught on camera. It was a close call for Arifin Ahmed, who was doing his homework in his front room when he heard what sounded like a large explosion. The suspect's car clipped Ahmed's family's car, totaling their vehicle and then damaging the front steps of the home. And then hit the house next door, damaging the foundation of that home. Mohammed Ahmed just purchased that property for his mother. Well, police did take that driver into custody, but right now it's not clear why they were chasing that driver in the first place. Well, this morning cleanup is underway in Hamtramck. That's where a high speed car chase ended with that car crashing into two homes. This happened on Norwalk Street near Conan, and it was all caught on camera. It was a close call for Arifin Ahmed, who was doing his homework in his front room when he heard what sounded like a large explosion. The suspect's car clipped Ahmed's family's car, totaling their vehicle and then damaging the front steps of the home, and then hit the house next door, damaging the foundation of that home. Mohammed Ahmed just purchased that property for his mother. Take his license away. I mean, what if he killed somebody? What if something worse happened? What if there was people? What if a house collapsed? Well, police did take that driver into custody, but right now it's not clear why they were chasing that driver in the first place. Well, a person of interest in the disappearance of a teen from East Point has turned himself in for questioning. 17 year old Zion Foster has been missing for more than two weeks now. Investigators say she never returned home after she was picked up by her cousin by marriage on the night of January 4th. He took her to Detroit's West Side. Well, that cousin turned himself in last night after Detroit police put out the word they wanted to speak with him. And they're now taking the lead in this investigation. A former assistant chief tells 7 Action News phone records and social media could help establish a timeline. Well, the FBI has also joined in the search for Zion Foster. Well, this morning, the reward to find missing college student Brendan Santo now tops $30,000. Santo was visiting friends on the campus of Michigan State when he vanished on Halloween weekend. Santo was last seen leaving Yakely Hall headed towards the Brody neighborhood. Now, the ongoing search has been focused on the Cedar River. Well, now an online petition is gaining support calling for damming the river so larger areas can be searched. Now, if you have any information about the disappearance of Brendan Santo, you're asked to call MSU police at their tip line at 844-99-MSUPD or Crime Stoppers of Mid-Michigan at 517-483-STOP. Those tips can remain anonymous. It's going to be a cold day today, and we're going to have several more cold days going forward. But this morning, wind chills near zero. Temperatures are going to be in the teens. We'll have highs right around 20 degrees or low 20s today. Northwest breeze around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So wind chills are going to be in the single digits most of the day. And the cold one tonight, a low of seven. Wind chills around zero once again tomorrow morning.